So I'm sure a lot of you people who have been playing Rise of Tomb Raider's newest expansion, Blood Ties, uh, got up to the safe cracking part and had absolutely no idea what to do and how to solve it. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, it. It got me a little bit, but it's actually quite easy once you get it. So when you're exploring the library in Croft's Manor, you will come across a note called Clues. Now, what this does is it tells you the order of the combination and it tells you exactly the items you need so Lara's expedition treasure which can be found in the library and that is the Egyptian crown now on top of the Egyptian crown you can see two birds those two birds are what we need so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the hieroglyphics worksheet which can also be found in the Lara Croft Manor no, Lara Croft Manor Croft Manor and as you can see in the first row there the two birds are labelled as number 5. Now that'll tell us our first number of the three digit combination. So if we remember that, we'll head back over to Clues. Now as you can see here, my favourite painting by Amelia. Now in Amelia's painting room, you will hear Lara say uh, what the favourite painting is. But if you didn't listen, it is the four squares down in the bottom right. So as you can see, there are four red squares, which indicates the... Uh, the next number which is four so the numbers right now we have are five and four now the day of our wedding anniversary this note here the unlikely union can be found in the part of Croft Manor where Amelia slept I think it's either her bedroom or the painting room one of those two but what it says here is it goes on about their anniversary date and when they got married pretty much so four days before her birthday and if you don't know her birthday, you will find the necklace uh, beside her bed. And her birthday will say October 13th. So four days before October 13th is October 9th. Which means the password for the safe is... 549. And that's it. Uh, they don't change on every playthrough. So... If you're playing it multiple times over, then it's going to be the exact same every single time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.